This is the Sony 85mm 1.8, the lens I love but also hate. The 85mm is a really common lens to use for portrait photography, product like detail photography and way more of course. The way I use this lens is for portraits, details and during festivals to really isolate the person. And what you also have is like when you go from left to right the background really moves. But since it's a photography lens let's see if this lens is any good for my Sony FX6. The images that this lens produces are pretty good. They are sharp and the bokeh is nice to see. The size and weight of this lens is also pretty good. It's not that big, it's not that heavy. It's a little bit less than 400 grams, so it's nice to carry with you or when you have it on your camera it's not that bulky and heavy to carry. So just like the 50, it's really easy to just throw in your bag and take it with you. It won't take up a lot of space or weight. The lens has an aperture of 1.8 so it's really good for low light. You can use it during the night and combine with a dual native ISO of 12,800. It's really useful to use at night. I've used it when I go camping and the images that came out were really nice. I really loved it. It started snowing so what else do you want? Since it's, it's a video based on an FX6 so let's talk a little bit more about that. Using it for video it's okay. The autofocus is not that fast but for my use cases it's, it's fast enough when I'm gonna do a lot of sports it probably won't be fast enough but for now it's good enough just following someone with the ronin or having it for a headshot for an interview it's good but when you want to do fast action probably get another lens that has better autofocus and when you're manual focusing it's okay it's focused by wire so it's not that precise so for really important jobs i would suggest another lens maybe the one from nissi it's a really nice prime for a decent price but it's not out of focus it's only manual focus the focusing distance of this lens is not that good it's only 80 centimeters so if you want to get really close you cannot and now focus breathing it's a photography lens so you cannot expect the best but this one is not so good. I tried to do some focus pulls but it just really goes in and out, in and out. That's something you don't want. But when you're shooting with an a 7 4 or something like that, it has the breathing conversation but on the Epic 6 it's not there, unfortunately. Now let's talk pricing. The lens is 545 euros. Compared to the G Master 1 from Sony or the Sigma 1, both are 1.4 aperture, it is cheaper. The Sony 1 is 1600 euros and the one from Sigma is 1100 euros. It's a big difference, so if you don't want to break your bank, you can go with the Sony one. So my conclusion for this lens, I love it, but I also hate it. For fast paced video, it's not good. For headshot, it's good. For simple work, when you go to the forest or have the time at a festival to get your shot. But for fast pace, it's just not enough. The autofocus is not that fast and the focus breathing is really, really a killer for long pulls. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing and see you at the next one.